Tyrion just talks and his tongue is always getting him into trouble. Um, so his weapons are wit and sarcasm and, you know, scathing observances and truth-telling. Um, and the situation in the, in the Irie is a clear example, you know. He can't, he can't seem to persuade uh, Lysa or Catelyn that he's innocent of the charges against him, and he demands a trial by battle. Lysa is a is a woman, and the Lord of the Irie, her son, Sweet Robin, is a young boy, and a sickly young boy at that. They're not going to fight, so she chooses a champion. So he demands the right, since he's a dwarf and not uh, a trained warrior, to choose his own champion. And she she is maneuvered into this and says, well, yes, if anyone will fight for you, expecting that no one will because they're in a hall completely surrounded by her own men, none of whom are going to show that kind of disloyalty. Bronn is a common sellsword of no particular ancestry or noble birth, not a knight, but still a mercenary who has made his living for most of his life by hiring out his sword to one person or another. And he's looking for advancement. He's looking for a patron uh, who will give him access to money and women and a, you know, a place in a noble household. And he sees that Tyrion is a possibility for this. And Catelyn and Lysa are not possibilities. There's, there's no, neither one of them is going to say, yes, Bronn, you can join our household and we'll make you a knight or anything like that. That's not going to go anywhere. And sure enough, when crunch time comes, Bronn steps forward and says, I'll fight for the dwarf.